in today's video, I'm going to be playing some Nyssa. She's next in line. And um, it's pretty much just for fun. It's got a lot of different combos. It's not a typical, uh, you know, traditional combo Nyssa. But we are running the traditional combo with one uh, Strahd and one Hasten. So Strahd makes her life 10. He's a flying 10-10. So you hit Hasten and they die. And the other main combo is with Circle of the Druid. We're going to get Wild Shape Brontosaurus. And then we're going to Grim Echo it. And unless they have a Day of Judgment, they're going to die because dealing with five Brontosauruses is basically impossible. And then as another win con that we have, we have our Crusher Worms, just build boards for no reason. Uh, Lava Wave is extremely unfair, as we all know. And then to help us find our combo pieces, we have uh, Druid to draw when we ramp. And then we have uh, Primal Summoning. And then we also have this land, which will get us creatures from our deck, which is basically deck thinning draw power. So let's see how it goes. All right, let's see if this um, <clears throat> QG combo deck can get it done here. All right, so we're going against Ral. As long as they don't have Lava Wave, we should be okay. If we can summon a lot of things with stats on the board to, uh, you know, make the Chaos Lightnings a lot less effective, That's Rumble, champ. that would be ideal. So we're just trying to go wide, wide, wide. Um, Stag's actually pretty good. I'm keep I'm keeping the Titan because every time I ramp, I heal, which is Let's also go. good. I am not afraid to fight. <laughs> and I've already got a turn two and a turn three Listen play. To nature. And I'm gonna get another early play from the wolf, so. I'm gonna pass. We have Lava Wave, which is actually really good. Okay, so I am just gonna go Tusker and hopefully I'll have, you know, it'll stay. Very interesting. They're really trying to combo off. Okay. That's not the end of the world. I wonder if they have like a molten misstep. Okay, the answer to that is no. Oh, it's shock. How interesting. Alright, we have a hasten. Alright, we're just gonna play this. Rouse the beast within. I will jump so I can stag it next turn. Stag this, then stag that, I think. Just stop the shenanigans. I am dropping Titan next turn, so um, even if Thing in the Ice flips and attacks me, it shouldn't be the end of the world. It's not expecting that. They must be able to play two more spells, flip it, and attack me for. What is it now? It's a 5 4 now after the nerf. Six five, which is great. Let's just root. Uh, huh. uh. Okay, so I would actually rather do. Yeah, I would rather just do this one. <laughs> Yeah, and next turn I can either Brontosaurus or just Lava Wave, and I have a Chump Blocker, so I think it's okay. I already have Grim Echoes as well for the Brontosaurus. And then once that happens, I mean, the game is mega over. Hopefully they don't run, like, Negates, but, you know, you never know. 
you never know. I don't know if you guys can hear the rain in the background, but it's pretty chill. It's a nice little atmosphere I've got going here. I don't know what they're doing. Um, yeah, I, I really just don't know what's happening. Um, I'll attack and see if something like procs, maybe. I can't imagine that another opponent just. <laughs> <laughs> it's a shame. Um, it was going to be a good game ish. Did he just draw like all the wrong pieces and he got mad? Mm. Like, I don't get it. I, I don't even know how it's really that possible to draw that badly with Ral that you'd want to just rage quit. So they did just rage quit. It's very interesting. You know, Timer didn't go all the way out, so I know that they were there and they left. Maybe they got distracted in real life, lost their turn, and then uh, the I uh, came back and was like, oh crap, and left. Sir Money. <laughs> I like it. Um, this should be a really bad matchup for them because I just have bodies on bodies on bodies, and then I also have Lava Wave, which is really unfair, and Brontosaurus is really good. I'm not gonna keep the Lava Wave in my opening hand, though. Okay, there we not go. Afraid to fight. That's not bad. I might Ready just actually play this crushed. on one. Listen to me. I don't know, if I play it on three, though, it coming out as a... Birds of Paradise, darn it. Yeah, I don't think so. I can get more value out of it. Yeah, I mean, I've got giant stuff like this. Now Now I wish I had played it, but two damage is not that crazy. But then they're going to give it a dagger, and then I'm going to have to trade. Okay, well then I can do this now instead. Because they're just going to give it a dagger anyway, so I'd rather sack this thing than sack a Tusker, unless they have a shock, in which case I wish I would have played Tusker, so... You know, we'll see if they have the shock or not, because they can shock and then hit me for four. Um, and then I'll, if they do that, I'll just play both of these. My home won't fall. They could still do what I said. Don't break it. They did not. That's good. Um. Yeah, I'm a big fan of the ward. If they give it the dagger, I might just take two. Smashy, smashy. Don't break it. Um. Okay. Run! <laughs> I just want to play Titan next turn. Even if they have Nahiri's outburst, they'd have to summon something bigger. Right behind you. Follow my lead. Hmm. Don't break it. That's an interesting little. Well, I'm obviously gonna block this one. <sighs> Okay. Hopefully, if they just pass here, I think they're in trouble. They develop. Okay. Yeah, I think they're in trouble. Hmm. 
<laughs> Her effect to heal is so insane. <laughs> I mean, I'm like bigger, big creature, big creature for low cost. It's gonna be hard for them to keep up. If this survives two turns, I'm just gonna Grim Echoes the Titan and win the game that way. I can also top deck Brontosaurus and then Grim Echoes the Brontosaurus and win that way. It's a very interesting <laughs> card. Not very good in this archetype, I don't think. But it's, you know, it's probably just a filler card. Take they don't have what they want, probably. Alright, so, jumping, jumping. You've already stopped taking damage every turn. It's always a really good sign that you're stabilizing when you're versing a hyper aggressive deck and you, know, you stop taking damage. Uh, obviously. Right, so now we're just gonna attack, hopefully kill something, heal, deal seven, play the big boy, and we're just gonna grab echoes. One attack! Trample them! Indeed, indeed. It's like the most green card ever. It's like it's so proud to be green. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love robbing them of a mana. That is so good for me. Uh, means my Brontosaurus can't get like damaged to death by going face. Um, yeah. <laughs> They're gonna be so mad when I play the Grim Echoes. Gonna be so mad. They're gonna give this the dagger and just attack with these two, and I will happily uh, block this one. My lance is yours. Be gone, fights. Be gone. Alright, so I'm just gonna attack with this, because I don't want this trade to happen if they do it. And make room for more Bron- Oh, I forgot heals too as well, so yeah, I can't just open attack now. It's really silly. I forgot Bronosaurus was like, crazy broken. It's been too long. Look at this, I'm at 21. Makes no sense. Impossible! Alright, and your opponent has left the arena. I mean, I guess it's possible they have day. Oh, they're at six, though. So yeah, that's just game over. They're gonna play it out. Very interesting. Be gone. Dive. And it does kill one of them. Glad we got one of the combos off. Just for the video. Be gone. I don't think they realize that they're gonna oh no. What a pleasant outcome. Always a fun combo. Impossible. But I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you tomorrow.